Hey, Harry. Huh? What now? Have you taken your flu shot this winter? No. Why? I mean, everyone's getting sick and you need 75% of the population to take it for it to even be viable. <sighs> I, mean, I, I don't really believe in that stuff, you know? It's just vaccines, injections, and shots and whatnot. Wait, wait, wait. You don't believe in medicine? I do believe in medicine. That's exactly why I think vaccines are not good, you know? They cause, they cause autism and stuff. Vaccines cause autism? Seriously? I mean, we have a lot of stupid conversations, but man, this is just complete- Hey, I can, I can prove it to you, okay? Fine. Give me your best shot. It's on! A few moments later Where are we? I don't know Are we supposed to fight? I guess Fight! Look, here's a study They talk about the correlation between increased number of infants who have received the MMR vaccine over the past 50 years and the increased autism cases in North America a lot of families have supported the data behind the study, and they are specifically targeting the government. It sounds pretty biased to me. I mean, if people conducting the study only wanted to show that vaccines cause autism and not the opposite, they would only look at the factors that would give them the results they wanted. It seems like they didn't even take into account that vaccines may not cause autism. Yeah, but, but they have the data to support the results. Well, if you wanted to get down to statistics, it is wrong to look at the correlation between two independent variables. I mean, you have no proof that increased autism cases depend on increased numbers of vaccinated infants. Well done. Oh, okay, okay, here's another study where everyone who got vaccinated were diagnosed with autism. Again, it's bias. You don't have a randomized sample. Well done. What about here? This sample is of 39 children, where 28 were received vaccines. They compare the number of children diagnosed with autism from the vaccinated group and the non-vaccinated group and found a p-value less than 0.05. So there it is, significant difference. Well, if you look at the data, it's not normal and it's extremely skewed. And since the sample size is less than 40, a parametric test such as a t-test would not be appropriate here. If we perform a non-parametric test, you can see that the p-value will be large, and so there's no significant difference. Fatality. Flawless victory. Also, do not rely on Google for proof. Use a real database. <laughs>